Hi, in today's session of division in algebra, I have taken one more example. In this example, we have to divide a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 by a cube minus b cube. One method is long division method, which we can use and do the division. But that will be very long procedure in this particular example. So in this example, I'm going to use factorization method in which I am going to use few identities to do the factorization. So let us revise a few identities which we have learned earlier and if you want you can refer the videos of identities. I am writing only a few. One of them was a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m multiplied by n right we have proved it we have also learnt the explanation for this identity in earlier videos so if we see this a to the power 9 a to the power 9 can actually be written as a to the power 3 and whole to the power 3 right I'm using this identity in reverse order. I'm using this identity in reverse order. Right? a to the power 9, I have written down the factors of 9 as 3 multiplied by 3 and I have written a to the power 9 as a cube whole cube. Right? Similarly, b to the power 9 can also be written as b cube whole cube. Right? So now let's rewrite our dividend in this format. So a to the power 9 minus b to the power 9 divided by a cube minus b cube can be written as a cube whole cube minus b cube whole cube divided by a cube minus b cube right now if we remember properly we have also learned one more identity which was x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y multiplied by x square plus xy plus y square right this was the identity which we have learnt so if we put x is equal to a cube and y is equal to b cube we can rearrange this numerator this term in this format in the right hand side of the identity so let's do that now the dividend can be written as x minus y where x is equal to a cube so we'll, we will have a cube minus b cube and this is multiplied by x square that is a cubes square plus xy that is a cube b cube plus y square that is b cubes square right and this whole thing is getting divided by a cube minus b cube so what we have done we have actually factorized the dividend using the formula of x cube minus y cube into these two terms where the first term is a cube minus b cube and the second term is 
the square of a cube plus a cube b cube plus the square of b cube. Now if we see carefully we have this a cube minus b cube as one of the factor of the dividend right and our divisor is also a cube minus b cube in this case. So this divisor will cancel this factor and we will have this term as the quotient. So in this case our quotient will be a cube square that is a to the power 6 as we have discussed a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m multiplied by n. So a to the power 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6. So a cube whole square will be a to the power 6 plus a cube b cube plus b to the power 6. So this is our quotient. So this is the division in which we have used the factorization method and we have factorized the dividend using few identities. So this was pretty simple. This can be done using long division method also but that will be very lengthy and if you have time to invest you can practice this division using that method also. But I would prefer identifying the expressions and use the identities and make your division very simple and avoid using the long division method.